Hey guys, uh, good afternoon and welcome to another DIY Destroy It Yourself video. Uh, what we're going to work on today is my E92. And the problem was, you know the indicator on your dashboard whenever you have a door open? So mine lights up even if all the doors are closed. So now uh, there's two possible reasons why that's happening. Number one would be your wirings and number two would be the door switch. So uh, I'm going to show you what's happening. Alright, so uh, this is my A92 again, the USB M1. So what's happening is that light. So that light lights up even if the uh, doors are shut. So I'm gonna show you what's uh, gonna happen or what's been happening. So this is a door switch. <coughs> so if the doors are closed or if this switch is pressed, yeah, the light should go out. So mine a little while earlier, uh, that light doesn't go out. So guys, we're back in my room and what we have in the background is Fast and the Furious 9. For those of you who have watched this movie, uh, let me know your reactions if you like it or not. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, you have a set of door switches. Uh, so these are surplus uh, door switches. So. Uh, I'm gonna show you what a door switch looks like. So here's the door switch. And a few components of the door switch is, yeah, this one is the positive wire that goes to the switch. This is the switch, which goes like this. If the door is open, it'll be like this. If the door is closed, it'll be like that and the screw for your body ground. Let's try to remove the rubber. Yeah. So this one acts as the body ground. So now, um, how this works is, let's say everything's all good, your wirings and all. So if the switch is relaxed, uh, the circuit will be open, hence the uh, light indicator on your gauge would light up now if the door is closed or if this button is pressed the circuit will be closed hence the uh, light indicator on your gauge would be off so in order to test this we're gonna use a test light so what we have is a makeshift test light for those who are familiar, this is a T10 socket of an AE92's corner light. So there's, there would be three wires. One wire for the park light, the signal light, and the ground, the ground wire. As a test light, we're only going to use the wires for the park light and the ground. What's going to happen is, to test this, we also need a car battery. So now, so now the ground wire should go to the positive uh, socket of your uh, door switch. Then the screw, which acts as a body ground, should go to the uh, negative uh, terminal of the battery, while the positive wire of your test light will go to the positive terminal of your battery. All right, so here we go. See, the light lights up. Now, if I press this switch, the light should go out. It's kinda, kinda hard to do it with one hand, but there you go. Try my best. So yeah, there you have it. So uh, prior to this video, we were already able to remove one, which is the left hand uh, rear door, and this is the switch. Now I had to cut off the socket because the 
socket that I, <clears throat> the socket that comes with the uh, replacement switches that I got for different. <clears throat> so I had to, I had to cut the socket and put it on to a working uh, door switch. <clears throat> a rear door. Here's the switch, and here's the wire. So I had to remove this panel which was installed here this is the wire so it should go you should see it inside come on this cat keeps going inside the car Now to remove the door switch, just lift up the rubber. I will have access to this uh, bolt. And then you need a 10 mm wrench. Should be able to pull it out. Right. So now I can't because the socket's connected. So I'm gonna put back since this is the working uh, door switch. Let's put it on. Two hours later. All right, guys. So uh, we took the car out for a spin and had it washed. Uh, unfortunately, in rain. So there you go. So the curse is real. Uh, we discovered that the indicators or the switches on the right side of the car doesn't work as well. So let me show you. So this side I wasn't able to check because this car was parked over there and I didn't have access to these doors. So if we open the door, the indicator doesn't light up. Same with this other door. So, both doors open, no indicators. Even if we press this, yeah, nothing's happening. Alright guys, again, this is the old one. We tested it, it wasn't working. I even tried sending down the contact for the, for the ground, but yeah, it, it wasn't enough. So I had to take out this socket again and put it on the replacement. Placements here. Here's the wire. And yeah, we got a indicator on. I'll press the button, it goes out and on. And let's close the door. Oops, so on. So slam the door harder. There you go. Normal lights. All right, so to access the wire for this switch, there you go. So just remove the panel over here, which is, yeah, this one. This is just under your uh, seat belt, which is going to expose the seat belt mechanism, which is over there. And again, here's the wire. So here comes the rain again. So Everyone out there, uh, please stay dry. So going back, we're gonna test the switch. So positive wire over there. Here's the ground and we have no go. So let's replace the switch. All right, third door switch check. Yeah, got an indicator. You got a different switch now. We've got a wire so we have an open wire because i cannot pull out the socket from there so you had to improvise so let's check again press the button goes out goes on so it also gets stuck from time to time but uh, better than not having an indicator at all i can live with that so yeah all right, so uh, let's do a quick check. All right, 
driver's side door, indicator lights up, let's close it, and it's out. Got a light. Get out of the way. Got a light. Let's close here. Yeah. No lights. We got a light over there. Door is open. No lights. And lastly, this one. So, we got a light. Close the door. There we go. Alright guys, so uh, we're basically done replacing the door switches. Now, I only had to replace uh, three of them because the other one, which is the one for the driver, is working. But now, uh, on our car's case, you know, we were just lucky that the problem was just with the switches. Now, it's also entirely possible that you'll have problems with your uh, car's uh, wirings. In this case, again, we're just lucky that the wires were okay and we're getting power. So before we wrap up the video, I just want to take this uh, opportunity to help my other friends who are also on YouTube. So please check out their channels. Their channels are also displayed on my YouTube channel. So number one would be Copperbird. Next would be Pagong TV. Another one is Boss RG. And uh, the last one would be Orlando Caruso. <coughs> So these channels uh, contents are basically everything under the sun it ranges from you know car reviews uh, music uh, getting vaccinated uh, motorcycle road trips and stuff please check out their channels and while you're at it please subscribe to their channels now uh, if you find this video helpful please hit like and uh, also check out uh, two of my latest videos so uh, the first one is the uh, B2B car show held in Bulacan last month, July. You'll see some uh, S2000s, Evos, Civics, uh, some cars from P4 Body Kits, and of course, Lex Auto Works and MCI Car Insurance. So Lex Auto Works did the paint job on my Corolla Altis. And of course, I got my insurance from uh, MCI as well. Another video is the last automotive uh, media meet, also held last month at uh, Ayala Malls, Manila Bay. So some of the best um, automotive media groups were there and their rides. So yeah, please check out that video as well. For more uh, DIY Destroy It Yourself videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, uh, thanks for watching, Sir Anikov.